Counter-narrative news continuing on our special series on Walter Rodney, extracts from the book Walter Rodney Speaks, The Making of an African Intellectual, published by Africa, Africa World uh, Press in 1990. This section is called Lenin as a Revolutionary Intellectual. Start quote. Finally, there were confrontations in the university classroom with the same tutors who were essentially nationalist progressives, but who, as I found subsequently, hadn't made, made the break with class. There was one individual who was very anti-Cuban and that bothered me. There was another individual who made a statement which, was, which has constantly remained with me. I was doing some paper on the Russian Revolution and it struck me that this Lenin was a person who had a tremendous capacity for intellectualizing and at the same time doing. In my own naive way, I call this phenomenon a revolutionary intellectual. But the professor was very hard on this statement. He said, there is no such thing. One can be an intellectual or one can be a revolutionary. You can't combine the two. Lenin may at one time have been a revolutionary, at another time intellectual. But the moment he moves into practical activi activity, he must ab abandon intellectualism. This was the most curious argument. Even at the time, I thought it was most curious. But with my own naivety, I couldn't really confront the argument. I just sensed that something was wrong about it. And I felt that somehow being a revolutionary intellectual might be a goal to which one might aspire. For surely, for surely there was no reason why one should remain in the academic world, that is, remain an intellectual, and at the same time, not be a revolutionary. So, so I bore that in mind. And, and the fact that I do recall it very clearly does indicate that. End of quote. Walter Rodney very much uh, promoted this idea of the guerrilla intellectual, basically, you know, not being uh, confined and consumed within the academic institution. And the academic institution is a westernized colonial uh, institution the world over for, 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 for the larger part of it. And so this quote from Walter Rodney on Lenin really indicates how he saw the way and the manner in which and he would encourage people to use their developing revolutionary understanding and theory and intellectualism, if you'd like, to actually be at the grassroots, so the grassroots, the, the, the masses could understand what on earth you're talking about, because it's supposed to be in their interest and to inform their struggle for liberation. Many thanks.